start, everybody. The end of day three at the 21 convention, London, the men's conference of the century. We have a special presentation. Coming to the stage now is a man that's literally laid 1,642 women, has 40 children in 20 different cities, that's right, invented space docking and the pile driver, a man who I shouldn't even be talking about, really. And he's agreed to come on camera. So if any of these women see him, endless child support. Please welcome to the stage the lovely, the charming, the seductive Chuck Manslag. Thanks, everybody. Hey, 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 what's going on, fellas? What the fuck am I using this for? I'm mic'd up. Professional. How you guys doing? Yeah. Good, good, good. So I know obviously a lot of you have come here. You've heard about the rumors. Uh, it's actually, that was, that's an old statistic. We're actually up to 1,800 girls now. Please don't be jealous. Um, and I look, you know, I look across the room and I see a lot of guys, you know, who, um, let's be honest, you guys, a lot of losers, a lot of guys haven't had sex, a lot of virgins. And hey, look, don't be angry. I used to be just like you, okay? I didn't get laid for years. You know, I was terrible. I was needy. I didn't know what I was doing. But I got past all that. And uh, guys, I gotta say, it's not your fault. You know, it's not your fault. It's not my fault either, okay? I had, I had a who had a tough as a kid, honestly? Who had a really <laughs> fucked up childhood? Anybody? Two guys, two honest guys? Okay, check this out, okay? My dad left when I was like three, okay? My mom was fucking crazy, insane. I used to get the shit kicked out of me for any reason whatsoever. Anybody got the shit kickings in the room? Anybody, a couple of, oh, more hands, <laughs> awesome. All the time, if I did anything wrong, I'd get like shoes chucked at me, I'd had belts chucked at me. It was brutal, okay? I was the only kid I ever met that was actively trying to get kidnapped. <laughs> and I'd be like outside my house, some dude would walk by, I'm like, hey buddy, uh, do you want a kid? He'd be like, what? I'd be like, yeah, do you have a van or anything? What are you talking about? Do you, can, you, can you offer me any candy? Get away from me! Look, just, just take me for a week. If you don't like me, I'll get you another kid. Work with me. I've got an amazing ass. Look at my, okay, too far, too far with the ass. Anyway, I had a tough childhood, man. It was really fucked up. And uh, it just weird shit would happen to me. Like the kids wouldn't play with me. Like nobody told me you're supposed to bathe regularly. Like I had the shitty, who, like I, I'm from Toronto, right? Anybody know a shop called Byway? Okay, it's like Poundland. You, you can get shoes for $5 there. Those were my shoes, okay? I never, like other kid had, had Nikes. Okay, I had like no-name shoes like that fucking hurt. It hurt when I ran. It was fucking shit. And like I had, I had track pants, man. I had track pants till I was like 16. You know how much fucking shit you get for track pants? My mom bought me, check, once I had silver shoes. Silver shoes. Do you know how much shit you get when you're like nine for silver shoes? They call me, hey, space boy. Hey, space cadet. Yeah, it's not funny. Now it's fucking hurts when you're nine, okay? It's fucked up. Just weird shit. My stepfather, okay, I got a stepdad. He bought me, check, who had a dog or a cat as a kid, okay? My stepfather bought me a goat. <laughs> I had a fucking goat as a kid. Do you know, do you ever try walking a goat down the street with silver shoes? Do you have any fucking idea what that's like? I used to get the shit kicked out of me all the time. Girls would kick the shit out of me all the time. It was fucking brutal. I had a brutal childhood. So no wonder I didn't have any confidence with women. No fucking, no shit. That was brutal. Um, and it was really bad, it was really bad. And it's funny, because as I got older, I noticed that, hey, you know what? I wasn't the only one. Lots of guys uh, were, were, were shit with girls, too. It wasn't just me. And it's funny, and, and there's only, I brought a couple of girls earlier that had to go, there's only one girl in the room, and a little bit awkward, bunch of dudes, one girl, whoo! There's only one place that could, this could go really badly, depending on who you are, really well. Anyway, so, <laughs> let's get her. No. Here's what I noticed. It's a rape joke. You can't say that on the internet. Yes, you can. It's YouTube. Fuck you guys. Uh, look, here's my point. So I, I, I went out there. Basically, I realized that like a lot of guys out there were shit. And, uh, and I noticed that like all these dudes were doing this, like, this terrible stuff that didn't work at all. And I was doing the same shit. And eventually, I, I started to wise up to it. Like, God, okay, like guys are doing shit that's so retarded. Even me, like at that point, I was like, this is retarded. For example, I'll see this. I'll see guys... They'll be standing here and there'll be like chicks walking across the street, just like a hot girl walking around, and guys will just start yelling and whistling shit. Like, woo, yes! Yeah, 
And I'm like, what fucking planet are you on, dude? Has that ever worked one time? Has there ever been a chick across the street? Go, oh, are you whistling at me? Oh, hi, let me meet you. Ah. <laughs> never, not once. I've never seen a guy get blown off that move. But the guys are still fucking doing it. Guys are so fucking bad. They're coming up with the worst fucking shit. Guys are coming up to chicks going, hi. I'm a banker. I drive a Lotus, zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Here's my card. Call me. They're never going to fucking call you unless they want your money. You're a retard. OK, I see that one a lot. Uh, hey, uh, you come here often. Guys are still doing that, not making that up. Uh, just brutal stuff, just really unoriginal stuff, man. And, um, and when we're getting tired of it, here's, oh, this is a funny one. Hey, I'm going to go through you like a bad curry. That one's kind of funny. <laughs> Let me ask that one. A little bit funny. But anyway, guys are doing all this kind of terrible shit. And, um, and I thought there had to be a better way. So I went out there, and uh, I decided, you know what, I'm going I'm to figure this stuff out. So I started going out there, and I started like reading books. And uh, you know, I found out about the like, seduction community. I started reading all this stuff. And, uh, and certain books out there teach you some really weird shit. You know? For example, there's this one particular system that we don't have to name uh, that it believes that, uh, that women, women are, in terms of like value, they're up here. Okay? And men are down here. Okay? And what you have to do is you have to bring the women down to your level right? by, uh, by insulting them and making them feel bad. Example. <laughs> Example. Hi. I like your dress. I uh, think I saw another girl, girl wearing one just like it. She goes, oh, really? Oh, I thought this was nice. Yeah. The confidence comes down. Right? So, yeah. Hey, you know, you uh, got a little uh, crusty in your eye there. You got some shit in your eye. Oh, do I? Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, do I? Oh, uh, yeah, that's fi it's fine, though. You're cute anyway. Hey, uh, I like your nails. Are they real? What? Uh, you, no. Oh, it's fine. They're, they're nice anyway. <laughs> and when she gets low enough, you fuck her. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, also, as you're tearing the woman down, you're telling stories to make yourself look even cooler, even though they're not true. So for example, women, like say you got her down here, you're down here, you'd be like, so, uh, you know, uh, yeah, the other day, uh, you know, uh, this girl, friend of mine, this guy, you know, she rejected him and he was calling her all the time and harassing her and shit. But, you know, I went over there and I told that guy, if he didn't leave her alone, I'd kick his ass because that's what kind of guy I am. <laughs> yeah, the other day my friend's, uh, my friend's car broke down. He was in the middle of nowhere and I was like, I was like partying and stuff because I got lots, loads of friends and we we're having like a lot of parties and stuff and having fun. But you know what? I went out there and I helped him with his car because, you know, that's how I roll. <laughs> hey, I'm a banker. <laughs> and I thought, you know what? This, this stuff is bullshit, man. You don't have to lie to women to fucking get girls in bed. You don't have to make up stories. Why can't you just be yourself and have fun and all this kind of stuff? So I decided, you know what? I'm not getting laid, but I'm going to get better at this stuff. So I went out there into the world. And I decided I'm just going to go out there and talk to tons of girls till I figure out how this shit works, right? Um, and that's what I did. And I spent literally sometimes 16 hours a day just going out there and like hitting on girls everywhere, you know? Sometimes it went badly, sometimes it went great, but eventually I started figuring stuff out. And tonight I'm going to teach all you losers in this room how to get tons of pussy just like Chuck Manslag. That's right. I see the envy in your eyes, but I'm going to help you guys out because that's how I roll. So... I'm going to teach you guys the, some stuff that actually works. Now, who in this room, which one of you guys would like to come up to a beautiful woman on the street, stop her, chat her up, and have sex with her right there in a park or a coffee shop or right in her place? Who'd like to do that shit? That's right. Keeping it real, just like Chuck. All right. So I'm going to teach you guys how to seduce any woman you meet in the world the right way. So uh, there ha I had to, uh, there's only one beautiful girl in the room, so she's going to have to do for the one. Give her a round of applause. Here she comes. She's amazing. It's actually my friend's girlfriend, so, you know, I'll be keeping it, uh, just need one thing before we do this. Uh, okay, so, beautiful girl, so let's say, uh, here, here's what you don't do. Here are the mistakes guys make. Say, okay, say there's a beautiful girl down there, she's a little bit further away. She's walking towards you, 
down the street. She's hot. You want to meet her. Don't do this. Hi! How you doing? You're going to see that? You're going to scare the fuck out of her. She's going to knee you in the balls. Oh. Not good. Sorry, I grabbed your ass then, but that was quite nice. Okay. Now, <laughs> hey, if you were in the position, you'd do it too. I'm going to be fucking the crap out of her later. So look, here's the thing. So if a girl's walking down the street, you don't do this. You don't see her and think, oh, she's kind of nice. Hey! Punch to the face. Okay? Not good. You don't want to do that, okay? So remember, you don't want to do any of that shit, okay? Women are like horses. Okay? You don't want to jump in front of them. You don't want to come behind. You want to come in on the side. So check this out. So here's, how the, here's the right way of doing it. See a beautiful girl, okay, walking down the street. I let them pass me. Walk slow. I let them pass me. Then I run up. I give them a little touch here. Give them a little smile. Hello. And then I get in front. And I'm like, damn. And then I'll do my opening line, whatever that might be. This works all. Now here's the important thing here. When you're doing this, fellas, you want to give her a light touch on the elbow, okay? You don't want to grab her shoulders a little bit more aggressive, a little bit close to her face, you know? You could, you know? A little bit not, not so good. You don't, want to, you don't want to grab her wrist also. You know, it's, it's an aggressive thing to do. A little bit close to the poon poon. You don't want to do that. <laughs> now, the elbow, really neutral air. Does that feel quite, quite, it's okay, isn't it? You know, it's, it's really neutral and it's fine, totally fine. So you want to grab her there, you give her a little smile, hi, and then get right in front of her. Okay, now, what, what should you say? Let's go through some lines, okay? Now, this stuff, actually, we're going to play a little game now before we start this, right? So I'm going to trick you guys. I'm going to see how good you guys are learning. So I'm going to do some lines. Some of them are going to be awesome. Okay, They're going to be great lines. They're going to be smooth. Now when I do a line that's fucking smooth, what are you guys going to yell? Yeah. You're going to go smooth. smooth. On three, practice. Smooth. Nice. Now when I do a line that's fucking rubbish, you're going to yell? Rubbish. Oh. You guys are thinking now. Okay, <laughs> cool. So it's up to you. And, and now remember, don't yell out what you think it is till I do this sign. Because I might be like halfway through a line, and then you guys will yell out and it'll ruin it. So just wait. Like, I'll, I'll say some shit, and I'm going to look at you and do this. That means you vote, okay? Here we go. So, yeah, girls coming along. Uh, hi. Hi. Don't take this the wrong way, but you are fucking gorgeous, and I had to meet you. My name's Chuck. What's your name? Patricia. Hi, Patricia. Mm. That is smooth. That's smooth as fuck. You came in. Little pre-frame, little smile, but then you gave her the direct compliment. You, you let her know what you're thinking. That's some good shit right there. You guys are doing good so far. Okay. Oh wait, wait. I want to think. There's an order to these. Okay. Excuse me. Uh, does this smell like chloroform? <laughs> Just go down. Just go down. The answer is yes. <laughs> don't do, don't do, correct, correct answer. Okay, let's do another one. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Do you want to fuck? Correct. Too direct, uncalibrated, you're going to scare girls too much. You, you know, you're an idiot. Don't do that. That's gay. Okay, next one. <laughs> Baby, you so fine, I drink your bath water with a straw. Pow! <laughs> Fuck you guys, that's Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That is always smooth. <laughs> you guys don't know shit. All right. Uh, you're coming with me. It's not what it looks like, I swear. Wouldn't it be funny if I never came back? That means I fucked her! All right, big round of applause for the sexy lady. That joke can go on forever. But it's a short version. So, cool. So, 
basically, what it comes down to, don't be a pussy and tell girls what you really think. It's funny because, uh, you know, now that I've, you know, coached thousands and thousands of men all across the world who get amazing results, I picked up a few things and I don't want to teach you guys this stuff. So, number one, can anyone guess what's the number one thing that will destroy your chances with any woman? Number one thing. Herpes? <laughs> Herpes is funny. Herpes is funny. Maybe. Uh, it's, it's most, guys, most guys behave this way, and it's really unattractive. You guys are not getting your money's worth on this conference. I'll be honest with you. you none of you are going to get laid at this level. Come on, fellas. If you display this, you, you, women will not have sex with you ever. Bad smelling? Bad smelling? See, at least he's trying. At least he's trying. There you go. Fucking neediness, man. Neediness turns women off like this, okay? All these guys like, oh, I really like you. Chasing you. Fuck that, okay? As soon as, like, I, I've seen guys actually say this shit. If you're, if you're uh, like, in a relationship, right, and you're with a girl and you're like, and you say, oh, baby, you know, I could never be without you. You're the only one for me. You're fucked, okay? As soon as women sense that neediness shit, their, their pussy just, they just suck it. That's it. They just close up. That's it. You're done. You're not getting into that pussy ever, okay? You're finished. Okay, so don't be fucking needy. Be, 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 do your own fucking shit. Have your own life. Yeah, you can like her. You can, you can have sex. Everything is great. Do whatever the fuck you want to. Do not be a needy little bitch with women. They fucking hate that shit. Why do you think those asshole guys are getting tons of pussy? Because they're not needy bitches. That's why. That's right. He's bald. He's, you, see, ever, you ever seen a chick walking down the street with a, a guy's like 45, a little bit fat? He's fucking bald. He's not good looking. You're way hotter than he is. That's right. Even some of you in this room. Hotter than that guy. And you're like, what the fuck? And the chick's hot. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? Who's seen that shit? Okay? You think that guy's a multi-billionaire? Is that what you think? No. He doesn't give a fuck what she thinks. He's a man. He's not a needy little pussy. And he's tapping that ass. And that's what's going on there. So lesson number one, do not be a needy bitch. Guys have all these fucked up fears. Like guys are like, oh, what if I come up to this girl and she fucking rejects me? Oh, what if she rejects me? What are you fucking kidding me? We used to hunt bears in our fucking pet. You realize that? We used to be like, all right, all right, Jimmy, there's a fucking bear, right? I'm gonna come up behind him. I'm gonna spear him in the fucking back. You whack him with the ax, take his fucking head off and we're gonna eat this cocksucker. Yeah. The, <laughs> these days, hey man, you wanna go talk to that girl? Oh, fuck that shit, I ain't doing that. I'll be over here. I'll be over here drinking my beer. You go talk to her. You fucking pussies. Stop being a fucking pussy. So, rejection is bullshit. Come on, guys. Seriously. We used to fucking... We... It's a woman with a vagina. She's all cute and fluffy. They cook it clean and they, they give you massages and they give you blowjobs and you're afraid of them? How can you be afraid of them? Just, don't you just want to supposed to take their head and put your fucking cock in their mouth? How can you be afraid of that? Oh, maybe she'll bite my cock up. It's all right, though. You just fucking kill it. Look. <laughs> don't be afraid of women. Don't be stupid. Come on, fellas. Pay attention. Being afraid of women. It's fucking ridiculous. You, sir, what's your number one fear with the ladies? Number one fear. Come on, be honest. That's right. Run out of things to say? A lot of guys get that. Run out of things to say? Don't say anything. Grab her by the fucking back of the neck and make out with her. Make out. A lot of guys, this is what guys are afraid. Guys are afraid to, uh, what, if they, what if they make a move and the girl, girl doesn't go for the rumor? Oh, no. What if she doesn't go? What if she rejects me? Okay. Little, trip, tri little trick for you guys, okay? Every time you kiss a girl and she doesn't let you kiss her, Every time it's your reaction to that that actually is the most important thing. If you're like, oh, I thought you liked me. You're a fucking pussy and you're done. Vagina closes up. <laughs> done. You like that sound, don't you, fellas? Now, however, you try and kiss a chick, right? And she's just like, Good. And, you, and you don't give a fuck. You're just like, whatever. You probably have AIDS on your mouth anyway. <laughs> you probably have bad breath anyway. I don't want to kiss you. If you don't give a fuck, they're just like, wow, this guy doesn't give a shit. This guy's a man. He doesn't give a fuck. Then you try, three minutes later, you try and make out again. Then she respects you. Guess what? She rejects you. You try and kiss her again. She's like, this guy doesn't give a fuck. This guy obviously gets laid tons. Then she's going to suck your dick, okay? Stop being a fucking pussy and being afraid of that shit. Keep fucking going. And if she's in your presence, keep going. When she leaves the room, then you're done, okay? If you're taught, uh, there wasn't a sign. I need a signal to know that she likes me. If she's standing in front of you, she wants to fuck you. If she doesn't, she's going to leave. That's it. Stop being a fucking pussy. 
All right, anyone else? Any, I'll solve any sticking point right now. Any sticking point. You name it, I'll solve it right now. Three seconds. Anybody? Come on, you paid for this fucking event. You paid shitloads of money. You, you all should be fucking getting late tonight. So any sticking point, I'm going to solve it right now, just like that, because I've had sex with thousands and thousands of women, and I know all of the sticking points. Fuck her in the toilet. <laughs> She's still there. Fuck her in the toilet. If there's no toilet, just get a curtain or something and wrap you guys in the curtain and fuck her. It's only fine. What do you mean she gets? Any other questions? Yes, sir. Last minute resistance. Well, if you use the chloroform, <laughs> totally fine. Totally fine. Rope, actually, is the real answer. I'm just kidding. Obviously. Uh, listen. You should be making it clear to women why they're coming over. Don't do that creepy shit. Yeah, yeah, come over. I got some nice flowers. Yeah, we'll watch a movie. Fuck that. If a girl's coming to my house, she's no, she knows she's getting fucked, right? I'm talking about that three minutes on a date. I'm getting sexual. I'm telling her what the fuck I want. It's beautiful. Don't, you know, if she's at your house, she wants to get laid. Last minute, is, what the fuck is that shit? What is that shit? Do you, you, you go to a fucking restaurant? Yeah, I'll order a pizza. Pizza arrives. Oh, you know, I don't know. I'm not so sure. I'm not sure I want this pizza. Does that fucking happen naturally? Of course not. It's fucking bullshit. If she's there at your house, it's fucking on. Slap around a bit if you have to. It's fine. That's, it's not even real. It's in your head. Yes, sir. Day game escalation. Day game escalation. Same answer as before. Chloroform. <laughs> no. I'm just really, I'm just really, I think just be, uh, I'm, I'm really direct verbally in the daytime. So I'm, I'm immediately telling her like how fucking hot she is and I want to do terrible things and I just try and drag her off. Uh, drag them off. Literally, if you're coming with me, take them, drag them off. That's it. Uh, you don't have to, though, in the daytime. You don't have to. Just, just get them out. Get their... Now we're getting all technical. Now I want fun questions. Damn you. <laughs> fun questions! All right, look. I have a short bit of time, and they're running out of tape! Ah! So uh, I'm going to do two things to get the hell out of here. Okay, number one. Stop jerking off. Who's jerk who jerked off this week? Let's be honest. Who jerked off this week? <laughs> stop jerking off! <laughs> the fuck's the matter with you guys? It's weird. OK, who watches porn? Wow, fuck, there's your problem right there. You're watching porn and jerking off. This guy's like, yeah, two hands up porn. What is the matter with you? Jesus. There's probably 100 guys that wanted to come to this, couldn't do it, spent their money on porn and Vaseline. That's fucking brutal. See, I got a weakness. See, I, I, I value my time, so I stop watching Hollywood movies because they're all fucking shit and I hate them. But, uh, you know, but you know, they're just rubbish and I get depressed. But it's hard to quit porn. You know, I love, I love porn myself. I admit it, I like porn, you know? Because at least with porn movies, you decide when the movie ends. <laughs> okay, anyway, look, here's what I want to say. You don't want to be a pussy, you don't want to be needy, but you know what? When it comes down to it, women like sex. They love it. It's great. I treat women well. You know, I make them have orgasms, and they love me for that shit. Okay? Deep down, I'm a nice guy. I mean, let me tell you what kind of nice guy I am, okay? In a good way. In a nice guy. You, you ever read that thing? You hear that? That uh, when, you, when you have a... When you have a Pineapple, it makes your semen taste better, right? You guys heard that shit? Yeah. yeah. Right, now I want, I, want, I want all these girls I'm hooking up with, I want them to enjoy their experience with me. So, you know, but the thing is I hate eating pineapple because you get all that sticky shit between your teeth. It's really fucking annoying. So what I do is, uh, you know, I just leave sliced pineapple uh, beside my bed and when I'm banging a chick's mouth, whenever I ejaculate, I just take pineapple and I chuck that shit at her head. <laughs> because I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. That's the point. It's fucked up to see. I make jokes. This is, and this is the key thing. Like, if you walk away with one thing, understand this. Women want sex more than we do, OK? How many, how many uh, organs you guys got for fucking with? How many? One. Just one? How many, how many do women have? Six. Women have six sexual organs. They've got the vagina. They've got the clitoris. They've got the asshole. They've got the mouth. <laughs> they've got two ears. <laughs> And they've got two eyeballs. All right, too much on the eyeballs. <laughs> Look, that's a lot more than we fucking have. Do you realize that chicks have a clitoris? You know what that shit is for? That shit is for one fucking reason, for, to, to make women have sexual pleasure. That's it. A clitoris doesn't fucking wash dishes, right? A clitoris doesn't do fucking, doesn't do your laundry. It's just there to make women go, <laughs> that's it. By the way, if they don't make that noise when you're fucking them, you're not doing it right, just so we're, just so we're clear. All right. So women like sex, so give them what they want, for God's sakes. Give them what they want. So, in conclusion, don't be a fag. 
come to the 21 convention. But seriously, uh, <laughs> let's end on a, on a happy note. This is a weird thing, and it's true. Who likes eating pussy? Oh, a lot, a lot of hands. El Tovo was first. Motherfucker right here! I love that shit. <laughs> he actually went, uh, good. So, <laughs> dirty motherfucker! That's why I like him. So, I, uh, I like eating pussy. I got a disadvantage, though, because it helps, it helps to have a... It's only one lady in the room, but um, it, helps if you've got a long, it helps if you've got a long tongue on your man, uh, on your man doesn't it? Sure it does. Uh, long tongue helps, strong tongue, muscles, you know. This is my tongue. I got a short tongue. It's rubbish. This is my tongue. That's fucking shit, right? And I actually went to the doctor, and I was like, dude, what's with the short tongue, okay? This is bullshit. And, and the, the doctor actually said, I got a little piece of skin there in the wrong spot. Uh, I says, you know, we can remove this piece of skin, he told me, but you would have to learn to speak again. <laughs> Which would be pointless, me standing around in a pub. Hey, girl, come here, let me talk to you for a minute. Come on, I eat pussy like a motherfucker. Get over here. <laughs> no? No? It doesn't matter. I got a full foot tongue. <laughs> Folks, I'm Chuck Manslack. Thanks for coming out tonight. <laughs> 21 Convention!